Hello and welcome to People Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of November 13th, 2020. What you're seeing in my background is me driving my old car. I love that thing. It was a good Buick. It was an amazing car. And you're seeing a bit of uh, up here in Utah. I'm showing you a bit of my scenery and a bit of my life, basically, as I'm driving. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy that. But in, in our stimulus package news, basically, uh, Joe Biden, Nancy Pelosi, and Chuck Schumer, the top three Democrats, basically had a meeting and all agreed on a very large stimulus package. Mitch McConnell basically says that he wants a highly targeted stimulus package to basically focus in on the leftover problems in the United States. The Democrats are, they are basically relying on Joe Biden's 36 years of experience in the Senate and his connections to work out the deal with Mitch McConnell. You know, a deal with Mitch McConnell. Okay. They don't want to come out. There lot, there's, there's a lot of progress going on in, in the government funding bill. That is due on December 11th this year, so it'll be covered for next year. In fact, the lead Republican in this particular uh, government funding bill says that Nancy Pelosi is being very cooperative and very nice when it comes to taking care of this bill. <laughs> Trump is going to start his own news channel to compete with Fox News. Wow, we're supposed to, be to call it Trump News? All about Trump, man, nothing else. What's he doing in his office? Oh, he's sitting there spanking it. <laughs> the owner of Fox News, Rupert Murdoch, says that, that's great. We love competition. Bring it on. And a constitutional lawyer says that if Trump doesn't concede, it don't matter because the Constitution does not require the city president to take action for the change of power to happen. Oh, because basically it threatened that the military and the government will switch over to the new president on January 20th. And Trump is telling his, his administration that he's planning to run again in 2024. Wow. Are you guys ready for a second reign of Trump in 2024? <laughs> the top three Democrats, Joe Biden, Nancy Pelosi, and Chuck Schumer, got together in a meeting to discuss the emergency of the stimulus package. Let's just put it this way. All three of them agreed that the stimulus package should be to a total of $3.4 trillion. Mitch McConnell went in front of news reporters and said that it is better to pass a highly targeted bill aimed at the remaining problems in the United States. Pelosi responded by saying the Republicans' lack of compassion and empathy for their $500 billion bill. I'm going to enter my page real quick. I a problem. So she basically says that the Republicans lack empathy and compassion for the United States Americans for going to pass a half a bill, half a trillion dollar bill. That's right. That's, you, you, you have to give every American. Five dollar bill and expect us to live on it. Oh wait, we don't get nothing, do we? <laughs> yeah, isn't that the Republicans very nice? The Democrats are depending on Joe Biden and his thirty-six years in the Senate and the relationship he built with the Republicans. Joe Biden and Mitch McConnell actually go back forty years, forty years, and have a very good relationship. And basically, uh, let's see here. They did, they did talk about stimulus, but they did not make any progress. In an event that Trump officially loses the election and refuses to concede, there will be minimal drama, very minimal drama. Because on the 20th, uh, because the 20th Amendment of the Constitution of the United States basically says that the allegiance of the government, military, and the, the civil service will basically go to the winner of the November 3rd election on January 20th. So basically, Joe Biden, since he won it so far, um, that uh, all those allegiances from those three factions will actually go to him. And in the COVID-19 news, or should I say in, on the COVID-19 front, should I better, we reported 163,496 new cases of COVID with 914 fatalities yesterday. This is by Joe John Hopkins University. Wow, our cases are getting up there, man. I remember when it was back down in like what, 
low tens and fifties. Now we're up in the sixties. Not good. I hope we can get us down and get it all solved. I mean, there's a lot of conspiracy theories out there. I've seen a few, don't believe much of them, but we'll see what happens. So until next time, I hope you guys stay safe out there. Always make sure you wear masks to keep yourself and those around you safe. And do play any playful games in case the mask thing is just a hoax. I don't know yet. But conspiracy theories do put a lot of good arrows. Like I said, do wear masks anyway, it's been a safe fight. And stay safe and Hope you guys have a wonderful evening, and I will broadcast again to you on Monday, actually, because I'm not going to do a Saturday or Sunday show no more. We're not much tomorrow. So, until next time, have a wonderful day, and remember, this is always will be. People, you must check, you must package it. Until next time, have a great evening.